This is the side hustle you will not regret starting. I've made a couple videos prior regarding to starting a can cleaning business. So I took the last 30 days and started my own. Using Quote IQ, this was much easier than I thought. Quote IQ is something that I would highly recommend if you're a newcomer or new to starting your own business. If you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, and collecting payments all for free, then check out Quote IQ. It's going to be the first link in the comment section and the description. This is going to make starting your own business much easier. In these past 30 days, I've been able to land myself 10 can cleanings, charging an average of around $40 to $45 a job. This may not seem like much, but from a time standpoint, taking me only 30 minutes a job for two cans, I'm making over a dollar a minute. The equipment needed for this business includes a sprayer, pressure washer, and a variety of chemicals ranging from bleach to fabuloso. I'll probably end up doing a review of each of the chemicals that I used to treat in this video. They all serve their own purpose from the bleach killing bacteria to the fabuloso curing the smell of the cans. While this process is short and easy, it does require for you to use the customer's water as well as power in order to run your pressure washer. After my fifth job, I started asking my customers how the cans smelled, and I ended up getting the funniest looks, but it was well worth it because before I started doing this, I was questioning the functionality of the fabuloso but the perfume smell really seals the deal. In addition to the chemicals, one thing that I did not think I would need, which ended up being very necessary, is protective eyewear and something to cover your mouth. There was one instance where I was cleaning a customer's cans and I started to feel a rush to my head from the chemicals and burning in my eyes from the bleach. This may have just been an extreme case because I was so new to the process, but for future reference, I would make that one change. As you can see, the strategy I'm taking here is to rinse the cans from the beginning, getting off all the dirt and grime. Then I start to treat the outsides of the can top to bottom, making sure that my bleach and degreaser get all throughout this can. It's very important that you don't miss any spots because the trash cans are such a small object that any little difference in the clean versus the dirty will be very apparent to the customer. In my opinion, the fabuloso that I add into the cans at the end might be considered overkill because who cares or is even going to smell the inside of the trash can, but I was pleasantly surprised. Not to say that I like smelling trash cans, but the difference in the clean and the dirty is something to rave about. There is something in how satisfying this whole process is because the change happens so quick and the bulk of the dirt is actually just inside the can. Feedback from the customers ranged from, wow, you're this young already doing this? That's awesome. And they hand me a tip to, wow, I'm sorry you have to do this, but thanks for doing mine and hands me the money. In other words, they felt sorry for me, which I kind of think is funny because I don't really mind it. I can't say I like the fact that it's trash cans, but hey, I like money. And if someone else does too, I could imagine this would be a very worthwhile adventure for them. My overall experience was amazing. The people are much nicer when it comes to can cleanings because of their low expectations. When it comes to detailing cars, customers love to nitpick every little thing, but in reality, you can't even mess up a can cleaning if you wanted to. Everybody's end goal is just to get rid of that ew factor when they take their trash out. I'm going to have to continue this for another 30 days and let you guys know the results. Follow me for more ways to find out how to make money with side hustles.